God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This evening on our Facebook prayer outreach, I would like you to listen to this message which has blessed thousands of lives. God bless us you join us in the name of Jesus. I am going to make some prophetic pronouncements from here. As many people as the prophecy is relevant to their lives, the mysterious and destiny changing power of God will come upon them. It's possible you, you may not be able to stand on your feet, but don't worry. Because once that word comes to your life, the powers that are against the world will give way. There are some people here today, the strong man that has been troubling your life for years shall be buried tonight. Yes. Aha. That's the power of God coming upon that person. There is someone here tonight. Nobody has ever really progressed in your family life. But by the decree of this place tonight, you shall be number one. In the name of Jesus. On the gallery over there. Aha. You shall be number one. Yes. You, that person over there, your strongest enemies shall become your agent of promotion. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The witchcraft powers that has been raging in your family, God will raise you to a place the birds cannot reach. Now the power, now the power, coming upon. Where they have removed your divine seat. God will give you that seat and decorate you there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The power assigned to keep you from lifting your head shall be buried tonight. In the name of Jesus. The stubborn affliction that have been battling you are about to be disgraced now. All eyes close and stretch your right hand towards this altar. Don't say anything until I ask you to act. Just stretch your right hand towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, the hands that are stretched forward to that, let these hands become your battle axe. The battle axe to kill every affliction. The battle axe to destroy every oppression. In the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Smite anywhere you are having affliction or trouble or sickness 21 hot times. And you shout back to the sender. Let's go. D21, D21.
to say for again. As you are smiting the place, praying this prayer, three prayers, you'll be smiting the place and be praying these prayers. Say, I kill every killer disease <laughs> by the power in the blood of Jesus. <laughs> Begin to cry against it now. I kill every killer disease by the power in the blood of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Huh? Yes, woman. That heavy load that makes your body twice heavy has just lifted from your head now. So I fire back every arrow of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Begin to smile the place and begin to talk. Thank you, Jesus. Smite it. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three prayer. Every agenda to shorten my life. Back fire. In the name of Jesus. Smite it well. Jesus, then we pray. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. The power of God has touched so many people. If you find that you have been healed, don't let the devil put the problem back. Run quickly to the altar here. Something has happened to a woman here. A long term problem vanished. Run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I release your fire upon this woman over there. That you find a spirit laying claim to you in your dreams. Claiming that you belong to the spirit. Drive there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil owner is broken. Aha! Check your body and find a way quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Aha! Aha! Yes! Every luggage of darkness placed on the head, placed on the chest, placed on the right leg, vanish now in the name of Jesus! Vanish now in the name of Jesus. Vanish now in the name of Jesus. Vanish now in the name of Jesus. Shake that leg. Shake that leg. Aha. Yes. Masekaten dayabo shendera boko pondia. Ribo sependa. Kayabo shendera bosanda. Every agenda of horrible nightmares that has caged this person over there let that yoke be broken now in the name of let her ever roar like thunder yes fire begin to burn on the right side of the body on the right side, on the right side, on the right side, chase out that serpent, open them out in the right side, out, 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 out. Yes, why the power of God coming up? Check your body and run quickly to this altar here. Jesus is waiting for you here. Do those things you could not do before, but the hand of the Lord is coming upon you mightily. Thank you, Jesus. Now right there where you are, 
you will pray this destiny changing and yoke breaking prayer make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours as you pray this particular yoke breaking prayer pass assigned to use me as a sacrifice you are a liar yeah! in the name of jesus Jesus. Something is happening over there. Powers are signed to use me as a sacrifice. The time is up now. Die in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Stretch your two hands forward. Makatenda re kaya bo shende. Ribo se pende kaya bo. Aha. Se pass. That are stolen from me. Can you say that with only anger? Shout it loud and clear. Release my portion by fire in the name of Jesus. Release my portion by fire. Release my portion by fire by fire by fire. a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the king of kings and to the lord of lords to him who can do great things to him who understands all things who is mercy and joy forever the one who has all powers in his hand who is mercy and joy forever thank you jesus thank you jesus amen Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Let affliction never rise again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are standing, pick any song of praises and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
continue to lay your hands upon us. Continue to bless us mightily. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a say, God bless you. Let's take our Bibles now and listen to me very carefully. Isaiah chapter 49. The issue we're starting tonight will lead us into serious prayers tonight and next manna water service. Isaiah chapter 49. I read from verse 24. Isaiah 49:24. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save thy children, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Verse 24, look at it again. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered. We're looking at the mystery of the lawful captives. The mystery of the lawful captives. Captivity is a terrible thing. Captivity is horrible. Captivity limits you totally. And it's not good to be friendly with captivity. The life of a human being is in three phases. That is phase one from ages one to forty. Phase two from forty one to eighty. Phase three from eighty one to one twenty. Three phases. Ages one to forty. Ages forty one to eighty. Ages 81 to 120. At the first phase, listen to me well. Ages 1 to 40. That is your time of preparation. It's the time of foundation laying. It's time to struggle to school. You learn what you are going to depend on in life. It's time to make plans and have dreams for your life. It is time you put things in place to become what you want to become. Captivity at this first phase of life is a huge tragedy. A huge tragedy indeed. This is why you find the white man saying a fool at 40. Is what? A fool forever. Say so if by that age of 40, you are still captive. It's a huge problem indeed. So everyone in this meeting now, you are within the age of 1 and 40. Please rise to your feet. And with a voice that roars like thunder. Only those who Only those who Those of you are standing now within that age gap. Can you shout this loud and clear? Captivity of my father's heart. Yeah! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and react against that captivity. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. There must be no negotiation. Receive your deliverance. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In 
Jesus name we pray sit down the second phase is from age 41 to 80 that's the phase of life when you are well baked phase of life when you are on the stage of life is this the time you have to give back to the society give back to your family give back to god what you have acquired it's time to become a fully grown adult and be in charge of your life it is time people who are still in that first place will be looking up unto you it is the prime of life and the time you are supposed to be at the best in your life captivity at this stage is a huge disaster because you may die with that captivity this is why everybody has to pray including the people who pray before like this let your voice roar like fire and like thunder Sign against the star of my life. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Ma pote sechele keyaba. Jesus, then we pray. Sit down. Phase three is when you are reaping the reward of the first two phases. It is when you wake up and bless God and pray for your children. The enemy never wants anyone to get to this stage. There are seven levels of captivity. If we say witchcraft, there are seven kinds of witchcraft. We say bondage, there are several kinds of bondages. Familiar spirits, there are several levels of this. Seven categories, seven levels of it. This is why some people are into certain things and they don't know. One, captivity by inheritance. You can inherit bondage. You can inherit captivity. You can inherit witchcraft. You can inherit familiar spirit. You can inherit all kinds of bondages. It was in the family where you were born and they handed down the captivity to you. I'm praying for anyone here who is under this kind of inherited captivity. Be released now in the name of Jesus. Let that man roar like thunder. Number two, there is captivity by decision. That is, you decided to go and put yourself inside captivity. You decided to become a witch. You decided to become a wizard. You decided to accept familiar So there is captivity by decision. They could tell the person the implication, but he says he wants to go ahead is a captivity by decision this is a serious matter a woman wanted to be rich and they took her to a serpent place and they gave her a serpent so make sure you feed this serpent regularly and the serpent was to be fed with very strange materials take the liver of a goat joining to the liver of a dog then mix it with fish, strange things like that. It's very difficult things to prepare. And she and she she, she does this regularly. But it's not every time. It's whenever the serpent crawled into the sitting room. So she knew the serpent was hungry. And we quickly go and feed the serpent. And she was making a lot of money. She was a government worker. But she had plenty of money. So they sent her on government errand and she traveled. The journey was supposed to take a week, but due to some problems, the journey was delayed. She didn't come back on time and the serpent was hungry. They wondered 
And anytime you run through that serpent, you die. She was coming in the plane when the serpent came out. The house boy was surprised to see a serpent. The boy took a big stick and dealt with the serpent and killed it. I was looking forward to telling his boss. I saw a snake in this room, I killed it. He did not know the secret. This woman immediately this house had killed the snake. She died in the plane. So that was bondage by decision. Three. There is captivity by birth. By birth. Any child delivered by a captive is captive. Don't deceive yourself. If your mother is a witch or a wizard and you were inside her for nine months, don't deceive yourself that you are not a witch. A child delivered by a captive is also captive. So a person can be in captivity because of birth. Four. There is captivity by covenant and curses. They put you into a covenant whether you know about it or you don't know about it. There is a curse whether you know about it or you don't know about it. A person gets on that captivity. Five. There is captivity by evil dedication. By dedication. Once you are dedicated to an idol, dedicated to certain things, your life attached to certain things, it's a serious problem. A lady, all of a sudden the mother will call her and say, Ah, well, you must be finding things very difficult now. Things must be very rough for you now. I say, Yes, mommy, things are rough. Things are rough, mommy. I say, But mommy, mommy, how did you know? I say, Because the tree. I planted on top of the placenta. It's not doing well. That tree is not doing well. So that's why I know that they are not doing well. Sometimes against mother will call. Say hello. Oh, you must be doing well now. He say yes, mommy. Things are improving. Say yes. That's because the tree is doing well. I'm praying for anyone here that your placenta is being used to control your destiny. Receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen go like thunder. Six. Captivity by force or by slavery. By force or by slavery. You don't want to be in captivity. But like armed robbers. Somebody stronger than you pushes the person to it. And it's a serious matter. When somebody is forced by force by force. They force the person to captivity. But the last group is the most unfortunate. It's unconscious of blind captivity. Unconscious of blind captivity. I was somewhere in Europe teaching a class, a spiritual class. I was standing at the front. There's a wonderful, well dressed lady sitting before me. I called a prayer. Everybody prayed the prayer. Then when the prayer now stopped, a woman who was speaking proper English, all of a sudden something took control of her mouth in the full glare of everybody. Everybody. She shouted. Speaking in the Jebu language. Uh, this man, what, what have I done to you? You have come to collect my power. And she was screaming there. And she clearly did not even know what she was saying. Unconscious of blind captivity. You say, Can somebody be a witch and not know? Oh, yes. Can somebody be in Pamela Street or Banjay Street? All those things I don't know. Oh, yes. That is the mystery of captivity. Now that's a problem. There are two groups of the captivity. There is the lawful captives, the unlawful captives. Lawful captives, unlawful captives. Of all the seven that I've read to you, from that one to five, 
they are lawful captives. That is, they are qualified. They are entitled to the bondage. The other two, the unconscious one, by force, they are unlawful captives. That is, the enemy has no right to cage them. It's a mystery of the lawful captives. It is this lawful captivity I'm trying to explain to you now. But the enemy of our soul is a legal expert. And he will not let anybody go unless he has to let the person go. Can you with a loud voice shout this loud and clear? Power of captivity! I'll sign against my destiny! Your time is up! No! In the name of Jesus! Something is going on already. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise to your feet now. The battle line is drawn. And this is not a time to negotiate. So if you are in this meeting and the enemy actually has a right to cage you, this is the time to set yourself free. Many people are under the banner of lawful captives. I will go on next time to explain to you who the lawful captives are. But this is not the end of this message. You will now say this loud and clear. What I'm telling you tonight is this. For the enemy to come against you and to be tormenting you and to be cheating you and for you to be saying let me go and they are saying no they are not letting you go. They are holding something, something against you. There's something they are holding. It is that something we need to dismantle. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every progress of the enemy in my life. Name we pray. It's the power of captivity. Lose me and let me go. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. Lose me and let me go. Jesus, then we pray. Now, let your voice be louder than those of anybody around you. As some special angels just move in because of this prayer point. Don't say, I've prayed it before. Pray it right now again. Honors of evil, Lord! In the name of Jesus. Ooh. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your manna water. Bring out your manna water. Father, we lift this water up to you. 
let every particle of this water carry the deliverance power of God carry the fire of God carry the power of God carry the victory of God carry the dominion power of God carry the antibiotic power of God carry the power of the great physician in the name of Jesus Holy Ghost fire blood of Jesus enter into this water now enter 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 in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus name we pray thank you for listening to us this evening see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus